Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Drawing Covalent Structures. In this episode, we're going to be looking at drawing ammonium, NH4+. Like before, we're going to start off by drawing and calculating how many valence electrons are, are coming with these particular atoms. So we have a nitrogen, we have a hydrogen as well, we have one of these, and we have four of these. Now again, if we look at the periodic table, we have to look at the groups. So nitrogen is in group 5, it has a 5 valence electron, and hydrogen is in group 1, it has 1 valence electron. Multiplying this through will give us 5 and 4. Now we have an odd number of oxygen, uh, an odd number of electrons here, and that cannot be the case. We're not dealing with free radicals at the moment. We have to take into that account that plus charge, and that's going to help us smooth out the oxygens. And we're going to account for that plus charge in the first step. Now having a positive charge means that we have lost electrons, we've lost negativity. And so instead of adding something to our electron count, we actually are going to be removing an electron. So we're going to take negative 1. We're going to add this all together. So 9 minus 1 is going to give us 8 valence electrons. So this is how many electrons are in our structure right now. Our second step is about figuring out how many valence electrons each of our atoms would need to have a full outer shell. So once again, nitrogen, we have 1. Hydrogen, we have 4. And nitrogen would need 8, while each hydrogen atom would only need 2. So uh, multiplying this through, we will get 16. So this calculation is telling us that we need 16, but we only have 8 to share. And so our next calculation is going to be seeing how many we actually share. So 16 minus 8 divided by 2, because they share in pairs, will give us 4 sticks. Okay, 4 sticks. These sticks, again, can be used in any configuration. We can make one stick to make a single bond, two sticks to make a double bond, three sticks to make a triple bond. Finally, we want to figure out how many electrons are left over. Now, we start off with eight, and we are using eight to bond, and that means that we have zero left over. So we have zero lone pairs. We don't have to worry about those right now. Again, where are all these numbers coming from? We had this original number of eight. That's how many we had in our structure. That 8 was used over here, and that 8 was also used over here. This 16, the perfect world, how many valence electrons we need for full outer shells, was used here. And the result of this subtraction was this 8, and this is what we used over here. Okay? Now, let's lay this out. So, again, the atoms with the most unpaired electrons would go into the center. Nitrogen being in group 5 will have 3 unpaired electrons, while hydrogen only have one. So hydrogen is never going to be a central atom. In this case, it will be nitrogen. So we'll put nitrogen around. Treat the area around nitrogen as a 360 degree circle, and we have four hydrogens over here. So if we took 360 divided by four, we would get 90 degrees. So we're going to place these hydrogens around this nitrogen in kind of 90 degree steps. So we'll put a hydrogen here, a hydrogen here, a hydrogen here, and a hydrogen here. Now, without looking at the sticks, we're just going to have to bond this to our central atom. We have to make sure it's one single unit. And look at that. We've actually used all of our four sticks, so we have no sticks remaining. We also don't have any lone pairs, so we've completed our structure. The only thing that we need to do is express the charge, and we do that using square brackets and putting the charge outside. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks for tuning in, and tune into the next one for another example.